welcome to the channel. Um, it's the first Wildcat me and Mark have done together since last December. Um, and the sole purpose of tonight's camp is to review a couple of items we've been sent by a company called Valley and Peak. So we're not too far away, we're in our local area in a secret location, I might add. So stick around. Uh, firstly, we're going to review one of those first items we've been sent. Um, before I go any further, I just want to make, make it clear we're not getting, um, we're not affiliated in any way with Canock Outdoors products or Valley and Peak. We've just been sent this stuff just to uh, give our, our opinion on it and do a little bit of a review. The water container they've uh, kindly sent us has got a 28 mil cap and it fits various uh, water filters. Um, the Life Straw Flex, the Soya Squeeze, uh, the Soya Mini and the Soya Micro. And the one I use is the Soya Mini. But they also do a water container with a 42 mil thread and you can use that with a Catadyne B3 filter also. Another thing I like about this filter, it feels very strong. When you get the Soya the Soya Mini, it actually, it actually comes with this bag and uh, to be honest, my brother's got the same filter and when he was squeezing the bag with the water and the filter, the actual bag broke. So in all fairness, these are not that strong. But look at this, it just feels strong all around, so we actually tug it. So what we'll do now, we'll take it down to the stream, which is just down that way, not far. And now uh, we'll show you how we can fill it up. Look at this. Beautiful crystal clear stream, not far from where we're camping, so it's always good to have a water source. Can't beat it. see where the, the water container you get with uh, the soil in there, you've got one, you've only got one way of filling it, so with this you've got, like I, like I said earlier, you've got that end there, and you've got the main one, which is the top, so you slide it off, just open it up, basically, Scoop the water. Just like that. So that's the water we take the full. Push over the top. Get the slider. Push it right to the end. And that's it. Easy as that. I think it's a brilliant bit of kit, to be honest. That's the first time I've used it. So compared to the Soya Mini bag you've got with the filter, this is hands down. Then there was something better. So let's get back to the camp. And uh, I'll connect the filter. So there's your bag full of water. There's my filter. Screw that on and just squeeze the bag, the water container, through the filter. You can actually squeeze this quite quite hard and uh, the bag is very strong, it's got a breaking point of 220 pounds I believe. But you can actually make this into a uh, gravity filter because Canock to another piece of equipment called the uh, Hydra Blue VersaFlow and it's a filter similar to this which connects to the one bag and you can connect it onto another bag and they do another bag which got a different colour this is blue and they do an orange cap so basically you can use the orange bag for, for dirty water and always use your blue bag clean water so you don't get it mixed up 
so you're not going to get across uh, contaminated. I'm just finishing off um, filtering this water into this Nalgene bottle. And then what you want to do is just keep folding it on the back like a tube of toothpaste and just put a bit of pressure because with this bag you can actually squeeze a lot harder than the, uh, the Soya Mini bag. So it feels so strong, you know it's not going to break. So just keep on squeezing and it does actually come out faster the flow rate than you, you know, it would if you were just using a Soya Mini bag. So 10 out of 10 for a Mini so far. So that's done. Bag is virtually empty. And we've got an algae bottle. Some nice clean drinking water. Right guys, uh, really impressed with this uh, Canuck 2 litre Vecto water carrier. Very versatile, like I said before. You've got two openings, one at the top, one at the bottom, one for the filter there, look, and one big open at the top for uh, collecting water. Um, very strong material. It's made of a, a TU, or TPU material, I should say. Um, it's BPA, BPS and BPF free. Um, the great thing I like about this is you can actually open it really wide to clean it out. You can get some kitchen roll in there or a, you know, a dry cloth and stop it going mouldy. You just leave it to air out or whatever to dry it. Um, this is sort of the end of the video. Of, uh, of the review but we're going to be using this on every wild camp now so if you watch our videos you'll be seeing this in use more often um, thanks to uh, Valley and Peak for uh, sending this to uh, do a, a short review and a trial on it and uh, thanks again so uh, you'll be seeing this a lot more it's time to put the tents up and we're using the Van Gogh Hurricane 200 and for those who have seen our first ever wild camping video up in Plain Come Clue this was the first tent we ever used and I'll tell you what this tent's bomb proof it really is So I'm going to show you my um, sleep setup for this evening. First of all, I got my my foil underlay. Just give me a bit of insulation from the floor below. I'm using my mountain equipment, helium 3.8 inflatable mat. I'm using that tonight because that's got um, that's insulated. And then with it getting cold and now I thought I'd use that, even though it's a bit heavier than my other one. Um, it's going to be a bit colder, so yeah, I brought that. And as usual, the got the Trekology a left 2.0 pillow with the elastic strap that goes on the back of your sleeping pad. Very important. And. I'm using for the first time my Leviathan OEX down four four season sleeping bag. This was a present off my other half, Karen. She got that for my birthday last month, so that's a four season down bag. And I'm gonna give that a whirl tonight, so I'll let you know what it's like in the morning when I wake up. Can't wait to get in it. You can see I've got the Canock Outdoors water container. 
I made my own little gravity filter. I've got no rope here so I've used a little bit of vine hanging off this uh, little branch. So there's uh, the water on my connected to that is a little Soya Mini water filter and that's filtering the water strains in my Nalgene bottle. So you can leave that to his stuff and uh, you can do other stuff around the camp. Perfect. Hi guys, another item I'm going to do a little review on is um, this 2-in-1 insulated pouch sent to us by the guys at Valley and Peak and very kind of him and he said yeah we'd like to review it so here we go. It's a 2-in-1 insulated pouch it is for basically all your batteries and your gadgets put them inside the insulated pouch and it stops the um, battery draining overnight and yes ideal for the winter months when you're out while camping it's made of soft um, taffeta nylon it's um, 27 centimeters long by 20 centimeters wide and it weighs in at 27 grams which is super lightweight it weighs absolutely nothing to be honest and um, yeah they come in three different colors as you can see up there red purple and black yeah and it's um valley and peaks own make they make these and they do um, a bunch of other outdoor gear with the Valley and Peak logo and you can also use this as a food pouch to rehydrate your food which I'll show you in a moment so like I said it's Valley and Peak's own make it's very strong very durable very lightweight at 27 grams which is in all honesty absolutely nothing put that in your pack you won't even know it's there so the first thing I'm going to do is show you what it's firstly intended for what you do you get your power banks your batteries or your phone Place them in the bag, like so. Close it up at the top of the Velcro. Then you can just put that in your sleeping bag or your quilt overnight when you're sleeping or before you um, go to bed. So you're outside having a meal or something, just leave that in your seating bag and then that'll stop your your phone battery draining or your camera batteries your power banks etc etc and the good thing about it is you can use that as a food cozy for your dehydrated food yeah, so to um, rehydrate your food, what you do, you put one of the clear plastic bags inside the cosy, and that's what they send you with. You get your, your dehydrate, dehydrate your meal, put that in there. Obviously you put your water in there, give it a stir, close the top back up and then leave that for the time it says on the packet. It's usually about 8 to 10 minutes, something like that. And then what you do when you're ready to eat, these clear bags, they stop it. Um, any spills or anything coming out of the, the food packet 
that protect the um, cosy from spillages and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty good idea. What we'll do, um, this is Simon's, this is, so when he has that shortly, we'll, we'll show you what it's like when he's actually eating from it. Right then, guys, it's tea time. I'm having the Big Daddy 12 ounce sirloin steak out of Iceland. Look at the size of that. Not the country Iceland, the supermarket. Yeah, Iceland. Iceland. And mushrooms. It's the Twin Peaks staples. Yeah, what are you having, son? Expedition Foods, beef and potato hot pot, and I'm going to use it in the Valley and Peak Food Cozy. And just to let you know, that um, food he's having there, Expedition Foods, that's the company to give him the two bob bits before. <laughs> I'll give him a second chance. <laughs> On his solo camp. I'll give him a second chance. At Wine Reeve. Right, so let's get some scran on the go. Jet boils comes a rolling boil. Let's chop up my mushrooms. It's gone really dark in now, hasn't it? What time is it back? I don't know. Let's have a look. Time now is ten to seven. Already. <coughs> time flies. We're having fun. It's just nice to get out. You know, this this. Uh, nice. Coronavirus. It's nice to get out. You know, out and about, and uh, basically stay local. So they say, so it's nice to get out and have a bit of peace, a bit of peace and quiet and enjoy, you know, what we're doing. Or well, enjoy what we love doing, I should say. Well, this shadow of his camera, like, ah, oh, do anything. So Mark's frying half a cow in his pan. That is massive. <clears throat> Twelve ounces. Well, I'm not taking out the oxygen absor absorber out of the bag. It says add water, but I can't. My eyesight's not the best. The reading and. Uh, Add water. How much water do you put in there? Is there a line or something or what? Don't know. Mmm, sweet in here as well. Lovely. Oh. You don't see how much water to put in there? Yeah. No. Just guess. I'll get back to you in a minute. Right, so I've added added the water into the into the mix. It doesn't say on the bag or the pouch I should see how much water to add or maybe I'm just too blind to bloody see it anyway, but it looks about right. Well I'll do all zip it up. Leave it ten minutes, and we'll try out the uh, the food pouch. Guys, check that out! Oh, cameras all steaming up. <laughs> it's 
front view light on it. Check out guys, proper camp cooking that is. That's the big daddy steak and mushrooms. The only thing is I've forgotten the bloody mustard, haven't I? Oh well. Oh, boy, uh, I don't know. I'm always forgetting <laughs> something. You forget the brown sauce. I know you've got the mustard. Well, you know. Tell you what though, I wish they did smell your vision. That smells wicked. It does smell good, yeah. That is awesome. God. I've got to be fair, I'm slightly jealous of what he got there and what, what I'm going to eat. It's been gristle. Let's do the taste test. Wish I had mustard. You got you got a memory like a sieve. <laughs> I know. So my food is ready. Um, the beef and potato hot pot. So I'm gonna uh, tuck into that. Once again, impressed with this Valley and Peak. Um, dual purpose pouch and uh, if you'd like to purchase one uh, we'll leave a, a link in the description to valleyandpeak.co.uk Welcome back guys we're gonna have another couple of beers now and um, turn in for the night so we'll see you in the morning good night Good morning from the camp, just in six o'clock. I've got to be fair, we had a cracking night's sleep. What time what's we got to bed? About ten. Ten o'clock, yeah. Got up at six, we had seven hours. Seven hours sleep, yeah. Still pitch black round, you know, oh, I've got to be fair. Eight hours sleep. Eight hours sleep, is it? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. I can't count. I've got to be fair, it's pretty eerie round here. All, you know, there's all these trees and... You don't know who's lurking around in these woods. <laughs> would you want to do a solo wild camp out here? Of course we would. Yeah, really. And the first copy of the day for me is. I'm also going to say focus. The Taylor's coffee bag. Recommend these, really nice. Anyway, we'll get back to you in a minute. Have a nice cup of coffee now. Sat here in a peace and quiet. <coughs> Just hear an owl screeching in the distance. <coughs> Female owl, Mark? Screeching? I think so. And, uh, yeah, it's enjoying the time out, really. Missed this. Right then, guys, as promised, I said I'd tell you what my um, OEX Leviathan down bag was like the morning after. So, yeah, gotta be fair, it wasn't majorly cold overnight, but I tell you what, that bag was absolutely roasting. No, I went to bed with a coat on. I think I woke up at 2 I'd take it off, it was that hot. Yeah, it's a four season bag, like I've mentioned last night. And I think they got these on offer and go outdoors. I think they're 120 quid, something like that. So if you're looking for a decent down bag at a good price, I recommend one of them. It's a mummy bag, as you can see, but there is a fair bit of room in there. 
not like some mummy um, bags where you're struggling to move around. It's got a fairly big foot box. So yeah, go and grab yourself a bargain because that's a very good bag, that is. Right then, guys, as um, we're on the subject of showing you around some of the equipment we got. We stayed in this last night, the Van Gogh Hurricane 200 tent. It's a four season tent. And I don't think they make these anymore. Well, I'm sure they don't. But if you ever see one of these on eBay or second hand somewhere, snap it up. And I tell you what, you won't regret it. That's a, that tent is absolutely bomb proof. Everything's double seamed. It's got a vent on each corner of the tent. There and to the other side. And what else is impressive is you've got two vestibules, one either end. You can get your, your pack in there, plus all your boots and that, and you can cook in there probably, it's, that, it's big enough to cook in. It's not the heaviest, uh, the lightest tent in the world, it weighs in at four kilos. But if there's two of you, well, which I should be as a two person tent, just um, split it down. One of you carry the poles and the pegs, and one carry the um, the rest of it. So that's the vestibule on the other end. Exactly the same as the, the front. Well, that could be the front. You could have, well, whatever end you want, really. So yeah, like I said, fantastic tent. So yeah, if you see one of them second hand on eBay, snap it up. Right then guys, check this out. We're having a full English this morning. I've got two sausage, three bacon, mushrooms, half a tomato, two slices of big, uh, black pudding and two eggs we'll finish off with a nice cup of Taylor's coffee and I gotta be fair that is smelling awesome already and just a little shout out to my nephew Chris if he's watching I brought the HP sauce this time mucker Because you can't have a breakfast without HP sauce. Well, that, that looks good. That looks good. I'll tell you what, Gordon Ramsay would be going, I'm spitting feathers if you've seen this. It was meant to be a fried egg, it looks more like an omelette. <laughs> He'd be spitting feathers. He'd be cursing you, have you seen that? I'll tell you that now. Oh, well, it all goes down the same way anyway, doesn't it? Mark's painting his up. I'm still cooking, man. I'm looking at that sausage. It looks a bit of a fair week to go. So this is done. I think I'm going to try and cook eggs in here. I'm going to miss what happens. You'll see. Right then, folks, there we have it. That's the finished article. What do you reckon? I wish you could smell that bacon. It smells beautiful. Anyway, laters, and I'll take it now. Hello, guys, welcome back. We're all packed up now, ready to head on home. As I'll show you now, leave no trace as usual. That's where the tent was. All nice and clean and tidy. No mess or rubbish left behind. 
so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing if you already haven't and Dale and Willie are thanks for watching